Hey guys, so on my recent foundation reviews, a lot of you have um, really been liking them and comment to do um, more reviews on other foundations that I've tried and loved. So today I am bringing you a review on a foundation that was actually the first foundation that I ever purchased way back in middle school and has been a foundation that has stuck with me since then and that is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So it just looks like this. Um, this foundation is just a foundation that I can go to whenever and know I can always count on. Um, it's just a foundation that has never failed me and um, always just works amazing for me. Um, it is definitely full coverage, um, a similar coverage to like Revlon Colorstay in the um, drugstore. It would be similar to that in consistency and coverage. Um, covers up like everything. I don't really even use concealer with it. Um, so coverage wise, really, really great. Um, it does give a matte finish. I have dry skin, so if you have oily skin, I'm not quite sure how it would work um, because my skin is very dry, but it works really great with my dry skin, so um, love it. But since it's a matte finish, I think that it would work well with oily skin. Um, I'm just going to read, what does it say on the back? Oh no, all it says is shake well, it doesn't really say anything. Um, so this does have SPF 15 in it, which is great. You guys know I love um, foundations that do have sunscreen in it, so you get that extra added protection. Um, it comes in five trillion shades, literally like there is a shade for you, absolutely, with MAC Studio Fix Fluid or really any MAC foundations in general. There are so many. Um, there's like a whole NC line, which is if you have... Um, cool undertones then there's a whole NW line which is if you have warm undertones I have NC 40 um, in my foundation and totally love it matches me really great in the summer I have to go down to like an NC 35 in the winter or so just because I get a little bit paler but for the summer NC 40 works great for me so if you have a similar skin tone to me that's probably what I would suggest for you um, when I use this I never have to touch up my foundation ever um, like, I'm never really the type of person that would really touch up my foundation, even if I needed it. Like, I don't know, I just don't like to keep reapplying layers and layers and layers. That's why I like to find a foundation where I don't have to retouch it. So that is definitely one of these foundations. It has a lasting power of, like, I don't even know what. It just stays on forever, literally. Like, it's amazing. Um, you can really apply this with whatever you want. Um, because when I first got it, like I said, it was the first foundation I got in middle school. I applied it with my fingers. And, I mean... Did I have great makeup in middle school? No, but did it apply? Yes. So, I mean, if you're younger and you're looking for a foundation, you can definitely apply it with your fingers. I did, and it didn't look terrible. Um, now, I most often either apply it with the Beauty Blender, which if you are looking for maybe, you know, you want to get this because you want um, full coverage some days, but then other days you want more of like a medium coverage, just apply it with the Beauty Blender, and then it definitely shears it out a little bit and gives it more of like a medium coverage. Um, which is great for days when you don't want to look like you have, um, you know, a lot of makeup on or full coverage at all. Um, and then if you apply it with just like, you know, I have the Sigma Kabu Flat Top Kabuki brush, then, you know, it just gives a full coverage look with this and it works great as well. Um, as far as like skin goes, I know some people have said that um, MAC products don't agree with their skin. For me, I've never had a problem. This has never broken me out or um, really done anything bad to my skin, so... Um, I can't say that it's done anything to me to make me dislike it. The only negative um, that does come along with this is, as you can tell, it does not have a pump. It is a just like a top, and then you have to like pour it out. Um, you can purchase a pump at MAC for it. I believe it's $8, which, I mean, I think if you're going to keep repurchasing them, it's probably worth your investment. I just haven't bought one. I don't know why. Um, I probably will soon, but if you don't mind pouring it out, then... Just do that and you don't need it but if you're someone that needs a pump um you can purchase it as far as price goes for a high-end foundation it's not too terrible it is $27 which I know a lot of high-end foundations are like $40 so um, only being 27 is a huge advantage because it's still a high-end foundation you're still getting a super super high quality product but it's not as expensive which I have to say is with a lot of Mac products so Totally love that about it. Just all around an amazing foundation and I would definitely suggest it to you guys. Especially if you have a skin tone that you think is kind of hard to match, you should definitely be able to find a match for you in a MAC foundation. 
But yeah, like I said, overall, amazing foundation that um, has stayed with me and the only foundation that has stayed with me for this long. I mean, like, I'm talking literally like nine years. So totally love this stuff. Would definitely suggest it to you guys. Um, and you can get it, like, at any Mac store. Or if you don't have a Mac store in your mall, definitely check if you have, like, a Bloomingdale's, a Lord & Taylor's, a Macy's. Most of the time, they're going to have a Mac counter there, too, which a lot of people don't know because they're like, oh, I don't have a Mac store near me. But you might have a counter near you. So definitely look into that um and also when you go there they'll color match you for free you shouldn't have to pay anything um and they'll color match you right to your skin right there um which is great and um yeah i've just never had any problems with it and it's definitely a foundation i know i can always go to so i just wanted to let you guys know and suggest it to you guys in case you were looking for a new foundation or anything like that thank you guys so much for watching bye